Hey, welcome back to Santa's Workshop. Uh, this is not a project that I normally do, but I appreciate you kind of watching and seeing how I did this project. It turned out to be quite a bit of fun. Uh, and as you can see, that there are several different kinds of uh, Christmas tree that are all made from hot glue. And I'll show you that in a, in a few minutes. But I want to turn on the, the lights fairly soon here. So I can show you how how these work and uh, how easy it is to do. But first, let me just kind of give you a little bit more real estate here, and uh, I'll turn on the lights so you can see how this how this works. There. Okay, we'll get used to this. So let me first move this out of the way a little bit and go through each one. These are all running on 3 volt coin cells and there are several ideas that you can give a, a try to. Uh, the first is, uh, is the coin cell here but this is uh, using as a light pipe. This is the actual hot glue and this is where sloppy really turns out to be much better than the neat, which is right up my alley. Love sloppy. Uh, and they all, they come out a little bit different. But in this case, the, uh, well, I don't, uh, don't want to ruin the light here. But you can see that I'm using a smaller diameter. Uh, to pipe the light up through the thinner uh, glue stick. This is not a. This is the narrower, smaller glue stick. But again, a three volt coin cell running the whole thing. And I wouldn't do that normally. I use a three volt power supply, but that's one idea, and uh, easy to do. Uh, this one is similar, but it is a uh, flashing uh, five uh, a, a ten millimeter. All all of these uh, the other ones are five millimeter uh, LEDs. This is a ten millimeter, and it's a multiple flashing, and it has that uh, really kind of frantic ending to it when it, it it flashes but that's that's another possibility and then another one is this one and I used uh, aluminum foil as a reflector underneath just to just to reflect the light back up to the top and in this case it's a five millimeter and it just goes through the three colors just a fader and uh, you can source all these uh, I'll, on my website but whether depending on whether you're watching this on YouTube or on my website on my website uh, I'll go through uh, post a link to electronic gold mine uh, which is not an endorsement, but it's where I get all my singular LEDs. But there is another possibility. And what I found interesting is this one is one that I made using a colored hot glue stick that I made. And if you haven't seen my project, I can just on YouTube bring up all my uh, underobservationsblog.com and all my videos will be there, including the overview on how to make colored glue sticks, which is uh, what I did here. And it's just a green one. It's a little lighter than I wanted, but it was uh, kind of in a hurry to do it. But the interesting thing is that these look like I just punched holes in this with the end of the, the, end of the hot glue gun. And... The best part of this is that this is being sold 
and it's a good source of LEDs. And it looks like this. And it originally had a butterfly on top of it. And the butterfly just pops right off. And you get this source of, it goes through all of the colors and flashes and does all kinds of neat stuff. So that's a really easy source of, of getting an LED and uh, with a switch and everything. So that's, those are some of the ideas. Now the other way, uh, I found this little guy for $1.49 at a dollar store. And it's got a lot of LEDs. Uh, it's got four on the top, five white on the bottom, and then fading and blowing the, the you know the the really flicker type so for dollar forty nine you can get all your LEDs in in one package so let me tell you how I made these now the first thing that uh, I did was to use parchment paper it, and it has to be parchment paper because it's silicone coated and this is just an 8 inch circle that I made using a, uh, a compass and so 8 inches that's 200 and what 3 millimeters and then cut it in half just fold it fold the circle in half against the curl, cut it down, cut it down the center, so you wind up with two halves, and uh oh, where did I, where did I put that other one? Uh, oh, here it is. So now you have it in half, so this is half of the four inch circle. The top, the flat part becomes the top, and you just fold it in on itself, like so. And you wind up with a cone. Oh, this is not fun. There we go. And you can make them any size and any tightness that you want. Now, stuff does not stick to the silicone really easily. So what I found is that the best way to do this is to use a paper clip and just paper clip it at the bottom and that will keep it together while you're going to hot glue it so that's how easy it is to make the cone so here's one that I already made and you can you can ask why not use this cone simply as a as a translucent uh, Christmas tree and you could but it just doesn't look like hot glue does because uh, you get all these great irregularities and, and uh, that's the fun of it. So the way I do it is using a hot glue gun. Now here's a, a little trick. Use a, a tongue depressor on a clamp because you're going to have to cool this in between uh, the application so I've got burned that's why I got the gloves on I got burned far too many times so what I did is I just started down and just I guess sloppy is just as absolutely perfect this 
any way you want to. Then just kind of hang on to it. Just as sloppy as you want. Now it's going to run, but that's okay. Not a real big problem. So I'm not going to I'm not going to do the whole thing because it takes too long to cool. But set it down. That's what I like about this is that it allows you to to at least cool it. Well, you don't want to stand up. It'll make you stand up. Now you can let it cool while you finish it. So when you get done with that part of it, very easily, here's one that I have done. When I got done all the the, la the vertical part, I just ran a skirt around the bottom. And then the cone just literally pulls right out. It just doesn't stick to it. So now you've got you you got your Christmas tree. So that's how easy it is. I think it's a very straightforward project. A lot of fun. And I think that uh, the LED source is up to you. You can use fairy lights, you can use a number of things. But to my way of thinking, I would rather use a uh, two AA batteries because you can get a lot of mileage out of something like that. There are a lot of tutorials on how to uh, to do that. So if you read the little write up on my website, it'll give you a link to the LEDs. There are tons of tutorials on how to wire them and everything else. Uh, you can use coin cells. But they're only 175 milliamps, milliamp hours, so you're not going to get. You know, I, I, I think I ran one as far as 40 hours straight, uh, but that's kind of, it'll get under two volts and it'll just get a little bit dimmer as you go down. But you get all these kinds of possibilities of things, and you know, go to the dollar store and pick up some, some junk, some you know, some of these dollar store things. Uh, they're just amazing. LEDs are just easy to find. So that's kind of what the project looked like. looks like. I hope you have a little fun with it. Uh, and if you have ideas, I thought about using uh, even icicles, the aluminum icicles uh, hanging in the inside and letting it reflect up. So, I mean, the, the, as many ideas as you can come up with, uh, there's just a whole lot of possibilities. So, hey, this is Ken. I appreciate you watching it. And if you're watching it on YouTube, head over to the website and uh, comment uh, and give me some suggestions as, uh, as you see fit. I really appreciate it. Hey, this is Ken. Thanks an awful lot for watching.